watchers, welcome to Perth Watch, your horology channel broadcasting from right here in Perth, Western Australia. Today it's just going to be a, something a little bit fun, a little bit different. I'm going to review this fella uh, at the back here. Yes, it is a clock uh, that is of course based on a watch. And this is something uh, that arrived recently. So without further ado, let's just flip it around and take a closer look at this fella. All right, so here is the beast uh, a little bit uh, closer up. It's difficult to fit on camera, but and I'm going to get some of the reflections on the room here, but here we go. This is, of course, a Radiomere Black Seal-inspired uh, you know, wall clock. I'll put a, a shot of the watch here on the right here for you to see uh, what it, of course, uh, how, how much it really apes it. Uh, this is, uh, I'm pretty sure this is not uh, original product, as we will uh, get into very soon okay so just showing you uh the the watch the watch here okay this this kind of shot all right so uh the first thing of course i like to do uh, is talk about the movement so the movement in here uh is none other than uh well i don't know whether it's fake or not but at least it says is the rolex oyster quartz interesting that they use the word oyster because nothing, there's nothing oyster about this <laughs> they're pretty sure this uh this watch is not waterproof by any means with that open case back uh but you know it says it's the a6409 now when i search this up this this movement or at least a copy of the original movement maybe uh, is used in many rolex wall clocks uh, so you know i don't know much about it i don't know whether there's any jewels in here but it's of course powered uh, by one double uh, a battery that you can see there very basic and uh, because it's a rolex i'm going to assume this is superlative chronometer so with an accuracy rating of plus or minus two seconds per month uh, on the superlative chronometers, so I might be wrong, uh, but uh, who cares, right? You know, that's just a quartz uh, movement. Uh, I will show you that there is a gantry here, and that works the date display. The date display actually works on this watch, and that's cool. Uh, unfortunately, the separate seconds module, right? You can see, <laughs> you can see me in the reflection there. And you can see that separate seconds hand module there is not working at this point. That kind of uh, came out. Uh, broken out of box uh, from AliExpress and I'll put links to the product at the bottom if you want to check it out but unfortunately that doesn't work and I'll see if I can get a partial refund or whatever uh, and, and the other thing is one negative is that you have to actually take out these screws to get at that seconds hand module quite difficult if you want to replace the battery on that uh, when it comes to it so that's a little bit of an annoyance I have to say that's a big negative for this particular watch all right so next thing I usually like to do, of course, is talk about the case. The case here, or the, what do you call it, the body? The body here is 34 centimeters, so 340 millimeters, uh, you know, diameter, and it's a square radium design, so it's 340 by 340 high as well. That's really what you're getting here. Uh, the thickness, I'll put a sticker there to warn people not to touch it, uh, 60 millimeters thickness, so it's gonna sit quite high uh, on the wrist if you try to put it on the wrist that's just going to be thicker than most people's wrists I think all right that's really the case here finishing of course you've seen uh, me pan it around is completely uh, matte black uh, PVD this is what it is and that's kind of blade based on the radium and black seal I think the black seal might be DLC or at least I hope it's DLC from Panerai this one I'm pretty sure it's not DLC it's just kind of a uh, kind of a PVD black treatment here all right Talking about the dial, right? The dial here is, you know, matte black. That's really what this is going to be. Printed details all over, right? Including the the indices on the small seconds dial there. No frame on the window. They do try to ape, uh, you know, sandwich uh, loom sandwich dial. It's not a true sandwich dial. It's kind of just cutouts with loom painted. Uh, but the good thing is they do actually have loom. They, they do actually put loom in this, and I'll try to put a loom shot, uh, you know, however I can capture this. To let you guys see how it might glow it doesn't glow very long right it's not there to glow through the night but if you shine a, a light on it a bright uv light on it it does charge it up to glow in the dark for a little bit okay that's really what they've done here the hands are polished uh, steel kind of polished steel you can see that there right simple baton hands as per the real thing uh, including that that kind of leaf style panerai style small seconds there okay that's really what we're getting here Okay, so that's the entire description of this watch. Let's just uh, 
put on the table for a wrist shot, right? There you go, that's the wrist shot there, right? That's not a Panerai, this is a Panerai. That's not a knife. That's a knife. Okay, like my, my, this is a 44 millimeter. I think if you get a, you know, one of the, let's say the 372s, the bigger ones, uh, it may be comparable. This one, you know, it's just diminutive compared to this, this uh, clock here. Uh, difficult to fit. Yeah, I don't know where you would wear this, I guess on your chest. Okay, so uh, what have I liked about this? I think the looks is fantastic. They really aped the look of the Radio Mail Black Seal very nicely. Uh, and it really is eye-catching. You know, you walk into a room and you see this on the wall and it, it immediately attracts attention. That is cool. But of course, that's just completely uh, a copy design, right? So if you don't like homage pieces, this is, this is a copy. Uh, it's not a real Panerai. So this isn't for you if you don't like that. Uh, I would say the loom is poor. It, it's, it pretends to be a sandwich loom, but it really is just like a kid's wall sticker type of loom. It glows for a few minutes if you bother to charge it up. And, and turn the lights off in the room, it, it glows for a few minutes and then it just fades away. So don't expect this to be sandwich loom performance lasting through the night or anything uh, close to that. Uh, and then lastly, I'll say, uh, unlike a real radio mirror, this doesn't have lugs, right? It's, it's, it doesn't have any place to attach a strap uh, or band, so you couldn't, I, I guess not by default, you couldn't put something on this and wear it around your neck or your chest if you so chose, um, you know, that's just not possible. You would have to modify it, and I don't like having to modify things to wear it from the start. Okay, and then, um, you know, I, I guess another positive I forgot to mention is that at least it's got that Rolex oyster movement. Uh, you know, if it's anywhere like the real thing, at least you can, you know, expect chronometer quartz performance, maybe, maybe, I don't know. I don't know for sure. Let me know if, if you know for sure whether this is a fake movement or not. Okay guys, so there we go. My review of this very interesting product, you know, this, this Panerai uh, Radio Mirror Seal wall clock. Let's just flip it around for the wrap up. So there you go guys, my review of this Panerai Radio Mirror Black Seal wall clock. Let me know what you think. Do you have any uh, wall clocks based on watches? Would like to know uh, your experiences and your thoughts on, on what you have and in general, what you think about wall clocks based on wristwatches. Uh, guys, if you enjoy my videos, do consider subscribing. New content every week, always aiming to be objective and unbiased about all things horology. Thank you again for sticking with me, and as always, I'll catch you guys again next time.